Hey, welcome back to another video. So today's topic is super interesting and kind of massive. It's about how engineering is actually changing right now. I just watched this crazy good presentation by Andrej Karpati. If you don't know him, he's ex Tesla AI head. He's an absolute legend. And I thought I had to talk about because I feel like it totally nails what's happening in our industry. So let's just dive in. <music> You know, every time I open Twitter or LinkedIn, I see someone saying software engineering is dead. Yeah, I will code everything. You don't need devs anymore. But after watching Karpathy's talk recently, honestly, I think the story is completely opposite. Software engineering isn't dying. It's morphing, like completely transforming right in front of us. So here's the thing. And I love how Enrich puts it. He breaks down the history of software into basically three eras. Software 1.0 was, this is the OG era of like C, C++, Python, stuff like you literally write line by line, super explicit. You tell the computer exactly what to do. Then came software 2.0. This is when neural networks start taking over. Instead of writing every rule, train your model, feed it data, and it figures out the rules by its own. Then came software 3.0, where we are right now. And now with large language models, LLMs like GPTs or Gemini, you are literally programming in English. You just write a prompt and the AI writes the code for you. So now your code is actually the prompt itself. Like this honestly blew my mind. We are at a point where instead of grinding through documentations or learning a new language for weeks, you just talk to the AI. I want to build an app that does X and it literally spits out the code. Andrej calls this software 3.0 and I kind of love that term. Prompts are the new code. It's not perfect. Obviously, there is a million bugs. AI hallucinates. You have to babysit it. But come on, this is nuts. Another thing Karpathy said that just stuck with me was he compared LLMs to operating systems. Like think about it. Windows, Mac, Linux. These are OSs, right? Now LLMs are kind of becoming new operating system. You have closed ones like GPT, Gemini, and then there are open ones like Lama. Deep Seek. We are literally building apps on top of these models now, almost like how we used to build apps for Windows. So the computer you are programming isn't your laptop anymore. It's this global AI brain in the cloud and you are sharing it with like everyone. He also talks about a lot of agents, you know, those little AIs that can do stuff for you. But he makes this super important point. It's not about giving all your work to some crazy fully autonomous AI. It's about partial autonomy. Like Iron Man, the suit helps you, but you are still driving. Same for LLM apps. You get this autonomy slider. Sometimes you want the AI to help and sometimes you just want to do it yourself. So if you are building tools right now, like I'm building post handle and all of these AI side projects, you have to think how much autonomy do I give to the user? Where do humans still need to verify and check stuff? Honestly, Karpathy's big message is this. Software jobs aren't going away, but the way we work is changing. We'll spend less time on boilerplate codes, more time thinking about how to talk to AIs, how to build prompts, how to audit what the AI spits out, how to glue together tools. Everyone who can write good prompt is suddenly a developer now, which means there's more stuff being built than ever before. So yeah, it's a bit scary, but also super exciting. For me as an indie developer, this is kind of the best time to be around. You don't need a giant team anymore. You can just prompt your way into building a SaaS or a tool and then spend your time making it actually work for real people. Karapati's talk uh, made me realize like learn how to work with LLMs, build partial autonomy tools, don't get left behind but also don't freak out anyway i highly recommend you watch the full talk the link is in the description let me know your thoughts in the comments and are you excited worried or like me just trying to write this way thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one till then keep building keep learning and don't let the doomsayers get to you Bye bye